right. Let's get it. Snail power. <laughs> What's up guys, Sam here, and today we are in a 2006 Audi A3 wagon. This wagon belongs to my friend Steven, and this was actually his first car. He wanted to go for something that was more Japanese, but his parents just kind of convinced him to rock this thing. And he's loved it so far, but he tells me pretty much two months into the ownership, he had to go through a clutch and trans, which, you know, being your first car, I can totally understand how much that would suck. So the car makes about 210 horsepower to the wheels, but this blow off valve, Sounds so good. So the car is sitting on some Raceland coilovers, eBay special, uh, but I think the car has a beautiful stance. And you know, first impressions driving it here, uh, you know, no crazy scrape um, as far as entering corners and stuff like that. Really confidence inspiring. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with these coilovers so far. The interior of this car, I also gotta say, I'm really impressed. These seats, they're nice and comfy. Uh, they have a good amount of uh, support. Oh, I can see myself dailing this with, without any worries. When it comes to the A3 wagon, I feel like this is one of those cars that it's not like a sedan, like, like a WRX or an STI, and then it's not like a hatch either. So the community for this car, it's like, I feel like they don't get enough love and I honestly, I personally love wagons. I'm crazy for wagons, Subaru wagons. I even like Saabs and even this thing right here. I actually contemplated buying an A3 wagon a while ago. I, I think they look really good. But yeah, wagons are interesting. I mean, why not? You have the practicality of storage. You have, performance when you need it overall like it's just it's just a good package you have this car itself like the interior everything is nice no cheap plastics anything like that so the way that the power is set up right now there's no ridiculous torque steer and i love that you know it is a front wheel drive car but i definitely like a front wheel drive car that can put down the power in a nice smooth transition torque steer not really about it it's fun i can see why certain people like it but with this car, it's a nice transition for the power. Smiles per gallon. So another nice thing about this car is it's actually a six speed. So when you're cruising on the highway, you got yourself a highway gear and you're not having to deal with high revs on the highway, which is nice. I also really love the steering wheel in this car. It's a nice, simple, three-spoke steering wheel. A few buttons here and there, but that's how a steering wheel should be, in my honest opinion. So the car is rocking some Falcon tires as well. So Steven actually said that he's getting pretty decent grip, uh, you know, considering driving this car over the winter. He's driving it just fine, he's having a blast. Um, and he says it, it grips and puts down pretty well, but when he wants to have those burnout shenanigans, the car doesn't disappoint. Yeah, man, that's what it's all about. I mean, when you live in the Chicagoland area, we get the snow, we get the cold weather, and a lot of us have to store our toys away for the winter. But with a car like this, honestly, you know, luxury, you can drive it pretty much all season. You got the performance. And to be honest, it's, it's kind of a rare car too, you don't see a lot of these. And this one, I feel like the way he's tastefully modded it, it's done right. It's a, it's a very interesting car. It's, you know, when you buy a car, you gotta definitely keep all these things in mind. And I feel like this car is a pretty well uh, performer through all categories, which is it's very cool. As we do come into this corner here that I always take. Heel toe, not bad, not bad. And ease through the corner. 
corner. Yeah, the clutch, it kind of bites deep down, but I honestly didn't really have much issues getting adjusted to it while driving it. Another great thing about this car, I gotta say, is the visibility. Visibility is such an important thing, I swear. Like, when you're driving on the road, like with this car, you get great visibility. And it also has to do with the size of the car as well, which is why you get that. But yeah, great visibility. Um, overall, like, I would say with this car, out of all the cars I've reviewed, this would probably be the best car as far as a daily that you can still have a lot of fun in. That's that's pretty much what I can take from driving this car today is I would daily this car, no doubt. People take like the turbos from the S4s and the A6s and they swap it over and that helps the engine obviously breathe better and it helps them push healthier horsepower figures. So yeah, it's really cool like a lot of parts from like GTIs and other Audis, you know, swapping back and forth and kind of like, I guess you could say, not really Frankenstein in the motor, but like taking bits of other cars to improve this one. There's definitely a good aftermarket for this car as well, which is, this is also awesome. So what are my final thoughts on the Audi A3 wagon? It's awesome, man. I love it. I've always had a soft spot for wagons, man. I always liked them. And this thing, honestly, great daily, great power. What else do you want? And you can drive it in the winter. So yeah, I wanna thank Steven for bringing his car by. Um, I absolutely loved it. Um, I hope to definitely see it more around the car community near us. And he definitely does plan to mod it in the future as well. So definitely excited for whatever path he takes with this car. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Oh, <laughs>